Now, it's a pleasure to be with you here tonight as we celebrate some of the world's top chemical engineering and chemical engineers. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the ICME Young Researcher Award, sponsored by BPE, is Florence Schwend. To be an ICME Global Award winner feels, yeah, quite overwhelming, to be honest. Yeah, it's great, and I'm still kind of a bit in shock. I think chemical engineering matters for us all because we're surrounded by things that are produced by chemical engineers, plastics, textiles, um, pharmaceuticals, they're in our everyday lives and to me it really matters because um, we want to work towards a very sustainable and clean future where we need um, an alternative to the current petrochemical industry and we are using chemical engineering to convert wood into all those things. So to me it's really important that we can make use of this knowledge and of those technologies to um, reach a sustainable future. So I did my PhD at Imperial College where I worked in the chemical engineering department and I looked at using waste wood as a very cheap raw material to produce renewable chemicals and fuels and plastics. And since finishing my PhD two and a half years ago, I've co-founded Crystalix Technologies, um, which I'm currently running. And um, yeah, so now I'm more in the process of scaling the technology up from the lab scale that we worked at at Imperial to an industrial scale so we can actually start building industrial plants um, that convert thousands of tons of waste wood every year into new raw materials. The Bioflex process is a solvent-based chemical process that uses ionic liquids. Ionic liquids are liquid salts. Um, they're really good solvents for certain things and in our case what we do is we dissolve certain parts of the wood so we dissolve um, hemicellulose and lignin which means we can then isolate cellulose as a very valuable product and what makes it very special is that we can do this even with contaminated waste wood we can do this with agricultural residues that are otherwise very hard to process and we can do that relatively simply with very few process steps so overall it just makes the process a lot more lean and a lot more flexible than other existing processes so What's next for me and for Crystalix is hopefully a large funding round which will allow us to grow our team. We're currently nine, although many of us working part-time, and we're really trying to grow that to 18 full-time people and build our own pilot facility um, so we can then go out and license the technology to other companies. 